Father, we thank you for keeping us safe and healthy and helping many of us get the vaccine we need to fight this virus. We thank you for the healthcare and essential workers who have sacrificed their health to keep our lives going. We pray that you'll continue to keep them and their families safe. And as the restrictions loosen, help us not to be careless since there are still variants going around and cases spiking. We ask that you keep the vaccine supply and distribution steady. Help those that are still hesitant in getting vaccinated change their mind and know that this is not only to keep themselves healthy, but also stopping the virus from spreading. As we slowly come out from the pandemic, please help bring in the jobs that we desperately need to recover economically so that people can get back on their feet. Lord, at this time, we come to you with heavy hearts as we see so many people continue to get hurt and many times killed due to racism. People being oppressed and killed for wanting basic services such as medical assistance and education, etc. And even democracy. Seeing people being indoctrinated with alternative facts and led astray from your spiritual and emotional guidance. Taking your name in vain by putting a deeper wedge between us versus them. All due to fear. Fear of being taken advantage of, fear of losing control. Help us remember, Lord, what you said in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, that you didn't give us a spirit of fear. So for those that have been oppressed, bullied, or discriminated, we ask that you strengthen their spirit of power and love, and that the Holy Spirit will change the hearts and minds of those that hate and carry out those violence. Help us see beyond the color of our skin, the accents we carry, and the environment in which we live. Help us see one another as you see us. Help us love one another as you loved us. We know that the recovery will be long, but help us keep our faith and trust that you will continue to be with us and deliver us from all the chaos around us. Lastly, as we gather and listen to your word to be refreshed and recharged as we prepare for the coming week, we pray that you will keep our minds clear, our hearts still, and guided by the Holy Spirit in focusing on the lessons you want us to draw from today's sermon. In all these things, in your Son, Jesus' name, amen.